Hey, what's happening guys? It's Friday. I thought we'd do a teardown today. So I was perusing what we call the Redneck Walmart or Family Dollar. And I came across this in the automotive section. The Open Trails Motion Activated Solar Light. I saw Julian Eilid do a video on one of these a couple years ago and I thought that was really cool and uh, he got his from Banggood and I was going to get one from Banggood but I saw this and it's only five dollars so I said what the heck make a good tear down right so it says it uses 3m adhesive backing we'll see about that installs in seconds probably no tools, no wiring. Maybe. Super bright SMD LEDs. Probably. Durable and weatherproof. Well, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what it says on the back. Conserve energy and harness the power, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I want is this uh, nice info down here at the bottom. It uses uh, an 18650 for power, and there are 2835 LEDs. Charge time, 8 hours. Uh, sensing distance, 10 to 15 feet. All right. It is uh, hermetically sealed in one of these clamshell plastic things that will cut your fingers off if you're not careful. So I'm going to open this up off camera so I don't make a fool of myself, and I'll be back. All right, it is out of the package, and we're going to tear it down. But uh, let's take a look at it first. So we've got a PIR, a passive infrared sensor, four LEDs, a one, two, three, and a quarter section uh, solar panel and what looks to be genuine 3M tape. That's uh, pretty amazing. Any of you guys know what 3M stands for? Minnesota Mining and Machine. So let's, uh, let me zoom out here a little bit so I can better keep things in the shot. And we'll take the screws out because I got a screw loose, so this thing might as well have a screw loose too. And we'll see what it has to show us on the inside. I, I got sweat dripping off of me this morning. Um, it is so humid here in the greater Pittsburgh area that it's just like, uh, even with the air conditioning, nothing seems to want to... Uh, dry up or cool off all right so that's an 18650 all right it says 800 milliamp hours 3.7 volts from the Shenzhen Hushenbau Rechology Company Limited. All right, I'll buy that for a dollar. Kind of bent that tab when I pulled it out, but no big deal. All right, let's see about the circuit board. Should be able to get that out relatively easily, right? Okay, a couple more screws here. Although that one didn't appear to be connected to anything whatsoever. All 
All right, so there we have our little PIR sensor. Oh, another screw. Which has got a blob of solder connected to it. I don't even know why I'm unscrewing this from the board because there's not, yeah, there's absolutely nothing on that side but the, the PIR sensor. So let me screw this back on and we'll be back. All right, let's take a look at uh, the circuitry. The main IC on here is the A0S, or yeah, A0S84, which is a PIR sensing chip. Love, the, love that clock. All right, so the battery power comes into the board via these red and blue lines. The yellow lines go to the on-off switch, and the black and white lines are from the um, geez, uh, solar panel. Well, I can't talk. So we've got one, two, three transistors, a few capacitors. The rest of these are resistors. Now this one here, R11000, is a shunt resistor. They must be using that to measure the current. Now, as I said on there, this is made of ABS plastic, so El Cheapo Plastico. Um, we got a nice glob of what looks to be hot melt keeping our solar panel in there um, and not keeping it in there very well because that just fell out. So I will have to fix that. Now, the soldering and everything on the IC board looks relatively good. It's got that dull grayness to it which tells you that this is that ROHS lead free solder a bullshit. Yeah, other, um, I'm going to put the 18650 in a charger, charge it up, and we'll mount it and take a look. Just a note before I put this back together, I'm getting ready to put it back together. And if you remember, there were two diagonally opposed screws holding it in there. And I go to put this in, back the way it came out, there's not even a, a hole for a screw there. So, uh, good one, one hung low. Ha! Joke's on us. Okay, guys, for testing purposes, I just stuck this on a wall in a dark room of the house. Now you see it sensed me and it turned on and then it turned completely off. It doesn't seem to work all that well. Oh, perhaps it's the flash light that is causing the problem. There we go. So that is full brightness and it will stay in this mode for approximately 35 seconds. Now, when it's light out, it will turn off. But let's move out of the way here. Hopefully the sensor won't sense me. And after 35 seconds, it should go back into that dim mode but it never fully shuts off. Let's see if I can, I guess it's not gonna go back. All right. So yeah, you know, there it is. Um, I ended up re-gluing the solar panel in to make sure it was sealed. I'll mount it up outside. I would have been a lot happier with it if it shut completely off but hey for five bucks if nothing else you get a PIR sensor and a uh, 18650 so well that's a thing 
All right, guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. Damn, it's hot. I'm out of here.